guys, so this is a look that we're going for today. Um, it's kind of self-explanatory. So, um, I hope you guys like it, and yeah, keep watching. Okay, so you're going to start off with a clean cheek. And I'm just taking a spatula, a clean spatula that had nothing on it, or it shouldn't have anything on it. I just cleaned it off. Um, and just taking the latex, getting it on, ah, shit. Putting it on the spatula and putting it on my face. Just like that. Okay, I want to avoid any area that has hair. Okay, so now once it's there, I'm going to take cotton and stick it on there. Okay, this is um, my cotton, like cotton ball. I'm just taking little pieces and putting it on my skin. I'm going to do this with like a few different layers. So I'm getting more of the latex. I'm putting it right on top of the cotton. Now you want to avoid any areas with hair because it'll grab the hair and pull it out. And if you're going to go around your eyebrows, make sure you cover your eyebrows and glue stick. Like, it doesn't have to be, like, perfectly covered, like, color-wise, but just get, like, a nice thick layer of your glue stick on there. Um, so it doesn't, like, um, ripping the hair out. And just kind of repeat the process until... Okay, so basically, I just took, while I was like, before it like, completely dried, I took a sponge and some foundation and just slightly covered it. Just like that. Now I have a tray of red lipsticks, all the, like different colors. Um, this is Beauty Glam Cindy. This one is a Lancome lipstick and rose petal. This one is a Bath and Body Works one in 62. Ah. And then that one right there is um, YSL number 18. What are these? What they're called. So Basically now, I'm just going to go in with a lip brush and just kind of like shade and highlight and everything. But first, what I'm going to do is take a little bit of foundation, just a tiny bit, and then mix all three of the lip colors in with the foundation and then put it all over all over the scar wound type thing so like we get like a pale pink kind of face. I'm gonna do that with a Okay, so 
So now I'm going to go with my lip brush and I'm going to take my darkest two colors and I'm going to mix them together. So that's the YSL one and the um, um, Bath and Body Works one. I'm going to mix them together and then add a little bit of black. Oh, Okay, so I did the shading, but now I'm going to take the Cindy, the Lady Lum Cindy, and just kind of go around everything. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit of concealer. This is a really light one. This is Amazing Cosmetics and Fair. I got way too much. But just take that and a brush. Um, brush it and clean off a little bit. And you're just gonna go in and highlight the areas that need to be like raised, like here, here, right there. Yep. Yeah. Just take it on your brush. And then with a sponge, just go in and tap that out. And then grab that. And then now just go in and just add anything that you feel you need to add, I guess. Okay, now your last step is to make everything look cool glossy because <laughs> that's just the, what you kind of want it to look like. So I'm just taking some mint. This is a rosebud Smith's Lip Balm Minted Rose Rosebud Perfume Co. So this is like the stuff you can get at Sephora. And a sponge. I'm just getting the sponge into it. And then dab it everywhere because it's supposed to be gross and glossy and look nasty. And I'm going to just help blend everything together as well. And there you go! That's your completed little burn scar. Kind of thing you can do this with a whole bunch of other different kind of like um, techniques just play around with it um use different things you can use like gauze i know toilet paper is really common um basically anything you want and then you can get gross looking skin so uh thanks for watching um like and subscribe if you want comment below if you want and i'll see you guys next time